YouTube, it's Bebop the 7 here, and welcome back to Horse Haven! Now, in the last episode, we had quite a few failed breedings, but at the very least, we are now able to breed for the Dartmoor Pony! And I'm super excited, because finally, finally, finally we get to do that! Um, I don't know if we're gonna get the Cancer too, but the Leo Year 3 uh, is coming out uh, very, very soon! Uh, a little after 9 days, 10 days, 11 days I'm guessing, but it's coming out soon and I'm really excited to see it. And hopefully we'll be able to get it. But alrighty, so we just need a Dutch harness and Dartmoor Pony and we're going to be aiming for the Dartmoor Pony in this episode. But okie dokie, let's go ahead and go through our mail. A friend hired us as a stable hand, so thank you friends. Alrighty, thank you to Unknown and Tyrone, or Tyron? Hmm, I'm so tempted to say Tyron, but I'm going to say... Tyrone. And Tyrone to um, petting our horses. And no, thank you. And thank you, Unknown and Tyrone, for visiting our village. And nope. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. That's it for today. So, am I zoomed out fully? Nah, I thought so. So, first off, we are going to go ahead and clear out our paddock. Oh! I. I'm, I wasn't going all the way up, game. I don't know why you brought me all the way up there. Thank you. Let's clean out the paddock. Oh, red boxes. Gem. Gem! Look at us! Two diamonds today, you guys! We're doing pretty good already. Sweet Orange, let's go ahead and check our mines. More and more pearls. At least we can get a lot of that really sparkly, like, what was it? Uh, stained glass path, I think? Crystal path? Uh, so at least we could get that stuff. But let's go ahead and start digging. I know I can upgrade it, but it costs gems, so I don't wanna. I'm gonna go ahead and do this, and just just in the off chance that we get diamonds. And let's see. First off, we're gonna want to go ahead and collect the money from our horses' stables. So let's go ahead and gather the money from that. Come on, let me gather the money. There we go. It's feeling a little off today. Usually, it's not too bad, but it feels like it's really listing to sides. I don't know what it is. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna gather up all of our crops. Don't worry, I always plant them off camera. It's just I, we have stuff to do. We're we're too important at the moment to be planting crops yet. But we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna check here. We have a gift. I'm assuming that's from the uh, what was it? The High Breeder Society? Is that what it is? Pure Breeder Society. Ah, uh, I really wish we could get the tier for uh, Gelderland. I really wish we could, but there is no way I'm gonna be able to get it in time. Especially since I dear don't have a tier 2 filly. Uh, I really wanted that horse. I really wanted that horse. We can't even get a tier 4 quarter. Frustration, you guys. But at the very least, hopefully, whenever the next horses come out, if we are interested in any of them, I'll be more prepared with all of our gems. But already, we've checked on that. We've done all that we need to do there. So let's go ahead and hop over to the French Ranch. And we're probably... Hmm. I'm kind of torn. I mean, I think I'm just going to breed our Shires again in the hopes for a tier 2 female. I mean, I'd love to keep working on the Cancer Horse, but at the same time... Also, can I get my money from this? Thank you. We're going to go ahead we're going to zoom out. I just feel like I want to work on the Shires. I don't really feel interested in the year 1 Cancer Horse, personally. Um, it, it's cute, but I, I, I really want to work on my Shires, because what if they get a tier 4 out one day, and I have, I'm prepared with a tier 3 breeding couple, you know what I mean? I want to be prepared for this stuff, you guys. But alrighty, let's go ahead. Oh, there's a friend! There's a friend! There's a friend! Hi, friend! What, friend? Friend? <gasps> you have a pretty horse. You have a pretty horse, friend. We're going to go ahead and see it. How many horses have I really been trying to get? I think the only one was the Gemini so far with our series. I feel like the Scorpio was around for a little bit. I think, I think I'm wrong though. That looked like a Scorpio. But we went and sent an invite. We got Frisians. Um, I'm pretty sure that's a Breeden. Not entirely sure. But look at their ranch, you guys. Look at how beautiful this is. I love, the, I love what they did with the flowers. And the paths are amazing. I really love everything about this place. Wonderful decoration, de decoration, decorating, and decorations. Elizabeth, well done, well done. You have done fantastically. But we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna go back to the French Ranch, and we're going to be breeding our Shires today. And then we're gonna try again 
for Dartmoor. So let's go ahead and skip boop 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 ba doo and hit the breeding house. Hit the breeding house, thank you. Don't don't list too far off from where I was going, okay? So let's see, we have Toppy and then we want Ivan. Gonna go ahead and breed and hopefully this little lady is a little lady. No, it's not. Come on. Come on. Give me a little lady. I want uh, okay, let's just let's just go. Let's just see what happens, you guys. Are we gonna get the tier two? It's gonna be kind of frustrating. Is it ironic that we get the horse we want, but it's the wrong gender? I don't know if that's irony. I feel like it is. But we didn't even get the tier two, so we got. Uh, of course, we got a lady tier one shire. Hello, Gem. You're cute. All right. So that's done. Let's go ahead and gather up the carrot muffins, and then we can check with that weird traveler guy to see quite how many we have left to go. I can't remember. I think we also have to do some green feed, so we'll we'll go ahead and check on that, but let's find where his gem is today. There we go, by the Japanese people chase. So we need six more carrot muffins, and we just need a few more green feeds. So let's go ahead, go back, and get some of the carrot muffins going. Alrighty, do I have enough? I don't know. Oh well. Let's just head off to the to the Montana ranch then. And then we should check our fantasy. <gasps> you guys, what if? What if we can breed with some fantasy horses today? Oh, I think Romeo's really close to leveling up to level five, so that would be awesome. Oh, I wanna do that. I wanna do that. We're gonna do that. We're gonna do that. I really, really, really wanna breed Romeo and get some really cool fantasy horses. Did I clean the paddock over there? I might have to go run to the French ranch uh, again. I don't remember if I cleaned the paddock. And as you guys know, we can't leave anything in there because the horses could trip and fall. And you know the rest of it. So, okay, okay. Did I not clean the French ranch? Did I really not clean the French ranch? Come on. I swear I did. I will feel awful if I left without- Oh, I did! Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. So let's go back over. I'm sorry for hopping around, you guys. I just, I could not leave without double checking. I do that a lot. Like, um, if I think maybe I forgot something, like, for example, say I'm heading to bed and I, I, I was the one who locked the door, I will always go and double check just in case because I am that paranoid. I'm so paranoid. I always, always, always lock everything and I double check everything, triple check everything, and... I don't like walking anywhere alone because it's like, well, I don't know. I don't know any of these people. They're all strangers. They're looking at me. Look away. And so I just don't trust anyone. I don't trust anyone. I'm super... Ah, Cammy! Hi, Cammy. <laughs> How you doing, kitty? She started giving me kisses and I'm really confused. She, she usually bites. But okay. Okay. But yeah, I'm just really paranoid. I don't... I don't... I'm very cautious. Oh, we had a Shetland. Oh, but it was a girl. I remember that. Goodbye, Zoe. I'm sorry. She she has a wonderful home, you guys. But yeah, that was a weird topic. It's just it just made me think because that's why I double check things a lot. It's just like, well, a what if, and I hate what ifs. So I usually have to go and I I have to confirm. So, wait, what am I doing? I need to go to my friend's place to breed. Duh. I'm such a dork. All right, so let's go ahead. And it was level 25, I think it was, I, I, I don't know if it was a note, I think it was actually, I think it was Michael over here. I think he had all the horses that we needed. Maybe I should check us at the ranch just to see if he has Dartmoors? I think he does? No, I don't think he has Dartmoors because if he did, I would be breeding with them already. Bruh? Uh, what? Am I- am I wrong? Okay, before- before I freak out, we're gonna take a deep breath, and then I'm gonna go to Unknown, because this might have been the- okay, come on. Come on. There we go. We're gonna go to Unknown's place, because this might have been where I- I- I might have confused these two. Please? We had a Shetland friend over here, and I just sold a Shetland. Shetland? Shetland friend? Nafa? Oh. Oh, thank goodness, I was so worried. Let's go ahead and collect up our, our little treasure. Oh, a gem. Thank you. Diamond. Wow. I, I, I appreciate it. You guys must be really happy to see me. Am I just like that regular visitor that always gives the horses treats? I don't know if there's a visitor like that at like ranches, but if I... If, I would... 
I don't know. Would I annoy the ranchers if I always gave horses treats? I just... They're cute. I, I probably... I couldn't help it. I don't think I'd be able to. I would just want to coddle them all day long. They're just so cute, you guys. I love horsies. They're so adorable. But we're gonna go ahead and breed Nafa and Barbara and really cross your fingers for a Dartmoor. I had it. It would be a female. Ugh. Ah, but it would be a Dartmoor, which means we could probably breed with her until we got a male. So let's go ahead, cross your fingers. At the very least, I would love a male Shetland. Please, 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 Shetland or Dartmoor. And if the sh if it oh well, oh. Aww, man. Hello, Tahu. Okay, well, at least we get the really fun thing of going and breeding our fantasy horse. Can't wait! Am I the only one who looks at her face and wonder how her mouth can open so wide? I'm sorry, like, cuz, I'm just really confused. You have a really giant mouth. It feels almost... It really big eyes. Like, her mouth always gets so big when she smiles. That's, that's kind of... I guess that's kind of mean to say. I don't know. It just... It, it's really startling sometimes. Just be like, oh! That's a, that's a ginormous grin there! Right in my face! But alrighty, let's see. Let's see. Hmm. Just trying to earn some extra monies. Hum... Um, okay, well, you know, I think we gotta stop. Let's go ahead and stop by our fantasy ranch and feed up little Romeo. Actually, before I do that, we're gonna go ahead and get all the food here. Just so we're, just we're, so, just to be safe. Food, food, food for Romeo the Unicorn. Romeo the Unicorn. The Unicorn, what? I completed a quest? Show me. Harvest 11 oats. Ah. Right, it's been so long since I've completed one of those, it's just, I really, when they tell me to, like, do one of the other races, I really hate those races. Really, I really don't like those races, so I usually kind of ignore it, and I probably shouldn't. <laughs> but, I can't help it, I just don't like those races. It's annoying. But I'll probably start doing that more, because it'd be nice to make some progress on the, uh, on the daily gifts, those special gifts. So we have little Romeo over here, I want to go check up on him. Romeo, if you could love- I really want the cloud horse. Can we get the cloud horse? He has some really cool markings. I would love to befriend him. Oh, right, I got the little snack maker thingaroo. Awesome! Okay, let's go ahead and zoom out. There is- oh, he is leveled up! Okay, I totally forgot about that. But let's go ahead, boom, boom, boom. I just realized I have not been doing the quiz. Do you guys want to do the quiz real quick? Let's go ahead and do the quiz. So take a quiz, boo 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 in mythology, which Celtic goddess protected horses? Epona. I remember that one. I remember that. So let's see, what about this? In Turkic, Turkic? Uh, is that what it's called? I always would think Turkish, but in Turkic mythology, the Tulper was a horse with wings? Oh, okay, so it's like a Pegasus. That's cool. Which country has the largest number of horses? Uh... Um, okay. Eh? Oh, okay, I was right, I was right. Awesome! I, I went off my gut. My gut is a good thinker. That's a weird thing to say. My gut is a good thinker. But isn't that kind of what people mean when they go with their gut feeling? It's because their gut thinks about things, and usually the gut's right. It depends, though. Sometimes people don't have very good gut feelings, and they guess wrong. Like, I once had a gut feeling that, like, a cake would taste good. It didn't. My gut feeling was very regretful after that. <laughs> uh, same thing happened when I went and ate at a restaurant in the mall. Got food poisoning. My gut feeling was very wrong. My gut feeling was very lo long. Very wrong in that instance. And the regret lasted for a long while after. But Romeo. Romeo. Uh, who... Where, where art thou, R Romeo? I forgot. I forgot it. <laughs> I forgot it. I read it when I was um, when I was younger. It was one of the. It's one of the common Shakespearean plays that you read when you're in school and doing stuff. And I have totally forgotten it. I will say though, it was really fun to read. Reading in that kind of like 
speech, I guess, it's really enjoyable and makes me laugh a lot personally. Because it just, it, it, it kind of makes me giggle because it's just, it's so much fun to speak like that. It's really, really fun. Okay, okay, okay. Now, now, Aylin. Okay, Aylin, you have loads of awesome fantasy horses, okay? Right? Please tell me you didn't put them all away, right, Aylin? Aylin. I'm still slightly bitter because she put away her Dartmoor pony. Just a little bit bitter, you guys. It's not overly bitter. Just a little bit. Just a little bit upset. Ooh, I got a thing! Whoa! Who's breeding? Glimmering fairy horse. Tier two. Ah, oh, going up the tiers, huh? Ooh, we got some really pretty, pretty peaks over here. Got the Capricorn. No, not the Capricorn. The Cancer. What? The Cancer too. I am so sorry. You are the Cancer too, right? Yeah, yeah, you are. Rosa Lee. Oh, that's a pretty name. Oh, who's this? Oh, you're pretty. Ooh, who are you? You're the standard unicorn, Sophia. Who are you? Sunlit unicorn. Oh, you're a male. Um, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and go and breed with some other person's fantasy horses. Let's let's check you. Let's check question mark over here. I really want to breed with a different breed a fantasy horse. I don't want to go up in the tears in the unicorn right now because I want to see what cool fun horses we can get. So we have, oh, we have shiny, we have shiny horn. Hello, shiny horn. Honestly, the, oh, you're also a guy. Okay. Um, what about you? Oh, you're pretty. Oh, and you're a gla and you're also a guy. What about you? You're also pretty. You're a guy too. Why does everybody have male horse? Like, can I have male horses? Every single one. Really? Which, <laughs> The question mark why okay okay I'm not giving up I refuse to breed with um, another standard unicorn and I won't it's not like I, will, I never will in the future it's just because I really 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 want to try and get a un a different fantasy horse I want to get all the fantasy horses why does everybody have male fantasy horses why question mark why is your place fully upgraded with no one in it question oh are they all in the paddock I, I bet they are. This is the person that always puts them all in the paddock. Yeah, see? They're all over here just running, walking endlessly, never stopping. Okay, Horse Haven, I don't know what it is with you today, but your camera is off. It's going wacky. But let's, let's, let's just go down... No Fantasy Ranch? No Fantasy Ranch. We're just gonna go down the line here. And what about you? No? Yes! We're gonna check every single Fantasy Ranch. Because, gosh darn it, I don't want to breed with... Why is the only horse another standard uni uh, unicorn? Unicorn! Like, really? Can I have a female other horse, please? Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna check you. Okay, so we can breed with Hathaway. She's a glimmering fairy horse. And we can't breed with Mike, Agate Fairy Corn. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna breed with Hathaway. Let's go ahead. Let's breed. Let's do it. I have the money for it. Awesome. Okay, okay, okay. Please, 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 please. What's the what's the possibility? An agate fairy corn? Oh, that's so cute. And her and her name is Adana. That's adorable. Who are you? And you're a boy. I I don't. I, uh, well, you know, if we get Poppy, that's okay. Um, let's see. I wouldn't mind breeding up in the tears, I suppose. If we got Millie, it's just I really wanted a different uh, fairy horse, fantasy horse. Because I wanted some variety. But, hmm. Alright, well, let's go ahead, cross our fingers, and hope for Adana, I guess? Adana, Adana, Adana. Honestly, I'm fine with pretty much anything, but Adana, Adana, Adana. Yay, Millie! Uh, that's not fair, though. I'm sorry, Millie. It's just for a very. I was hoping for a different horse, different horse type, that's all. It's not like you aren't fabulous in your own right. So, at the very least, we can speed that along, and we tried. We did our best, you guys. So, oh well, oh well. We tried, but um, we'll keep trying. Just keep going at it, and hopefully we will next, well, at the very least, oh, woo, woo, I was going the wrong way. No wonder it was messing up. But at the very least, um, we do have a, a female now, which is super, super awesome. We finally have a female fantasy horse, which means if, uh, if on the next Monday when a random horse comes along for breeding, we 
have a male and female fantasy horse. So that's always a bonus. But alright, you guys, I think that's going to be it for this episode. I want to thank you all for watching. Sorry for the weird rambles in this one. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any ideas or suggestions, go ahead and comment them down below. But I gotta be bopping on out of here, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye!